Hello, and welcome to the Patriot Connection. I'm Alex Tennant. And I'm Malia Miskowitz. It's become the largest national day of community service in the United States, celebrated on the fourth Saturday of every October. Make a Difference Day. Patriot Connection reporter Emily Laflamme explains. National Make a Difference Day began in 1992 and is designed to inspire people to make a positive impact in their communities through carrying out acts of kindness, donating, or even volunteering. Giving back to our community helps everyone. Not only does it give us a sense of belonging, it also boosts our self-esteem and makes our neighborhoods stronger. Miss Unique is one of Wheeling Park High School's community and schools liaison, and she says Wheeling is a very tight-knit community and we all treat people like family. When one of us struggles, it feels like all of us are struggling. And I think it's important to, you know, share or be kind or to give back to make sure that um, the people in our area are taken care of because it, it, if they're not taken care of, neither are we, right? Wheeling Park High sponsors dozens of clubs and organizations, and many of them are community service based. Key Club is just one of those clubs. It's an international student-led group that teaches students to make a positive impact through service and volunteerism. Mr. Koneski is the faculty advisor for Wheeling Park High School's Key Club chapter. He says every year they do projects around the community. We do a lot of drives to collect things, whether it be for the, the uh, winter free shelter, um, canned goods, it just varies. Uh, we also uh, contribute our time towards um, making cards that go to uh, nursing homes. We have spent days at the Wheeling Soup Kitchen serving food. It turns out that over 75% of the United States population donates to charities in one way or another. Many Wheeling Park students make a difference in our community all of the time. By going to local things, helping out with you know the House of Carpentry and other stuff like that. By recycling and I don't litter. Volunteer at the Ohio County Animal Shelter and I help the dogs and I clean. I give back to the community by volunteering at the soup kitchen. I like to pick up trash whenever I see like in the school's parking lot or it's kind of like around the school. I babysit multiple families in my free time. Whenever I have clothes that I don't want anymore, I give them to Goodwill. So what if you don't know where to begin? Here are several easy ways you can give back. Sign up with some friends to volunteer at our soup kitchen. Help collect items for those in need, such as clothes or food. Recycle old items like glasses and donate them. And finally, support local businesses by shopping small. Human nature is to give back to people, to, to be good-hearted, to be loving. And so uh, understanding that there are a lot of people in need in our community and giving our time towards them is, is, uh, is very important. Remember, you don't have to wait until the fourth Saturday of every October to make a difference. You can start today. Reporting for the Patriot Connection, I'm Emily LaFlam. If you're interested in joining Key Club, stop by Mr. Koneski's room, 318, or send him a Schoology message. Research tells us that more than 160,000 students across America stay home from school each day from the fear of being bullied. Patriot Connection reporter Riley Bronlick tells us about this growing silent epidemic. Although the month of October is known for fall, football, and Halloween, it's also Bullying Prevention Month. This serves as a time to encourage everyone to create safe and supportive environments to combat this unacceptable behavior. Bullying is a form of aggressive behavior in which someone intentionally and repeatedly causes another person injury or discomfort. It can begin as early as preschool and follow through high school. It may not seem like it, but bullying leaves long-term effects such as low self-esteem, depression, and loneliness. Mr. Bassesi is Wheeling Park's newest community in schools liaison and has advice for those who are being bullied. Do not tolerate it and also don't be scared to ask for help, um, whether that's friends or um, any adult in the school system, to uh, definitely report it because if you don't report it then no one, will, no one knows and there's no um, no actions that can be taken if it's not reported. Studies show that students who bully others often do so because they have low self-esteem and want to make themselves feel better. School systems are incorporating kindness to help eliminate bullying. When students feel included and valued at school, bullying is less likely to occur. Wheeling Park speech teacher Mrs. Draginski says she makes it a priority to ensure her students feel appreciated. 
In my classes, I have a really big benefit that student choice is paramount. So um, my kids are always doing what they want to do, what their interests are. And so that kind of helps them feel included because I'm learning more about them and I'm meeting them on an individual level. Um, and also we value uh, talking and just like having discussions greatly in the class and making sure every kid's voice is heard. Experts agree that students tend to do better academically when they feel that they are included. This makes school enjoyable and will encourage students to look forward to it. Because you don't know what's going on in people's home lives um, and just one little bit of mean can really hurt them even more than they're already hurting. It's important to spread kindness so that other people just feel good about themselves. We just have a welcoming and nice environment. And the way we can do that is maybe um, in class, working with somebody maybe you don't usually talk to, or maybe inviting someone to a club. You never know like their background or what they're going through. When someone's left out, they may feel like they're unwanted. You can invite them to sit with you at lunch. Remember that bullying is never okay, and Wheeling Park has a zero tolerance policy for all forms of bullying. Reporting for the Patriot Connection, I'm Riley Bronlick. If you or someone you know is being bullied, make sure you tell a trusted adult right away. We're kicking off our student spotlights by highlighting a standout student athlete. Here's Max Seibert with our very first installment this year. In a blowout win versus Musselman High School, running back Brennan Wack broke the Wheeling Park record for most rushing yards in a single game with 298 yards. Brennan has been the focal point of Wheeling Park's offense this year. He leads the team in yards and touchdowns, and at 6 foot, 190 pounds, he is extremely difficult for opposing defenses to contain. Brennan says the key to his rushing success has been a team effort and gives credit to all of his teammates. We had a really good week of practice, I think. The O-line played really well. They opened up some gaps for me, and uh, I just did what I needed to do. Even though he didn't start at running back his freshman or sophomore year, Brennan was in the gym every day, fighting for the chance to play. After years of hard work and training, Brennan's aspirations came to fruition as he became the starting running back for Wheeling Park and hasn't looked back since. Coach Ickes says he's a leader in the locker room and on the field. He leads by example. Um, he doesn't say much, he doesn't have to because of his actions. Um, everyone looks to him, um, he kind of sets the tone for the whole team. Brennan's off the field efforts are just as impressive. He's been able to maintain above a 4.0 GPA with honors and CP classes. I always make sure to work hard in the classroom and I try and get my work done in school. And then the schoolwork I have, I'll do right after practice so I don't like procrastinate. He also plays the cello and has been a three year member of the strings department. Brennan is revered by all of his teammates and classmates who said it's impossible to not want to follow him. He leads with his actions. He's just an easy person to get behind and you want to do, you want to follow him. Football player, obviously he's gotten a lot stronger. He's been lifting a lot. He's one of the strongest kids on our team. Probably is the strongest kid on our team actually. And um, he runs super hard. You can tell from his freshman year to now that he's just gotten a lot more physical and it's allowed him to break, break some records, obviously. Brennan's a great classmate. Uh, he's quiet, he gets all of his work done, he's a hard worker. He's in honors class, CP, AP, all of it. Best of luck to Brennan and the football team for the rest of this football season. Reporting for the Patriot Connection, I'm Max Seibert. If you'd like to see someone spotlighted on the Patriot Connection, stop by the radio TV room to see Mrs. Dillon or Mr. Nolte. Before we go to our break, it's time for Park TV Trivia with Patriot Connection reporter Nolan Yanchak. The Halloween song genre first began in the 1950s. Ever since then, these songs have exploded in popularity. This week's question is, what is the most popular Halloween song ever made? Is it A, Monster Mash, B, Thriller, or C, This is Halloween? We'll have the answer when we come back. What does Main Street Bank mean to you? Well, Main Street has extended hours every business day, and they're open most holidays. Their new checking and savings accounts are really good. The balance requirement is very low, and they have online bill pay and debit cards right away. Plus, they have no fees or low fees. Great service, higher interest. That's money in the bank. The right bank. Open your checking and savings account at Main Street Bank. You deserve a bank this good.
It's following the rules of the game. Accepting good and bad calls and not arguing with officials. It's cheering and encouraging your team, regardless of if you're winning or losing. Being a good sport means embodying certain characteristics and behaviors that promote fairness, respect, and positive interactions with others. Sportsmanship is a style and an attitude. It can have a positive influence on everyone around you. Being a good sport means helping up players who are down or injured. Good sportsmanship makes competition enjoyable for everyone. This message is brought to you by WPHP. Before the break, we asked you, what is the most popular Halloween song ever made? Is it A, Monster Mash, B, Thriller, or C, This is Halloween? The answer is B, Thriller by Michael Jackson. In the month of October alone, close to 650 million people listen to Halloween music. We're continuing with our faculty and staff introductions this week. Patriot Connection reporter Abby Walters introduces us to the members of our World Language Department. Wheeling Park is home to six World Language teachers. Mr. Bennett is the World Language Department chair and teaches Spanish and French. He says the World Language Department always has exciting things happening. We're currently planning a trip for this June to Paris and Madrid and we're going to be taking right now around 20 to 25 students and we're going to spend three nights in Paris and three nights in Madrid and that's a exciting to be able to offer our students and as a department we also do a lot of other things. We uh, um, sponsor World Language Week where we teach the school about different cultures and languages. We also offer the COL Bioliteracy to our students where when they go to graduate they can take a test and if they obtain an intermediate mid-level of fluency in the language and most do after several years of the language they can gain college credit so that way they don't have to take the course at the university level or even better um, jump in to upper level courses and get a double major or a minor in addition to whatever other programs they're studying. Other teachers in the department include Mrs. Gonzalez, who teaches Spanish 1 and Spanish 2, Mrs. Nollinger teaches Spanish and French, Mrs. McCammick teaches Spanish and works with our English language learners. Mrs. Robbins teaches Spanish, and lastly, Mr. Titus Glover teaches French. The World Language Department also sponsors the Fluent Club. It meets week two in Mr. Bennett's room. Reporting for the Patriot Connection, I'm Abby Walters. If you would like to join the Fluent Club, see your World Language teacher for a pass. Now let's take a look at what else is going on at Wheeling Park High School this week. Looking for a part-time job? Wheeling's Lachlan Chapel is looking for an after-school classroom mentor. It provides free after-school and summer programs for children. Children enrolled are in grades K through 5. The after-school program is held Monday through Thursday from 3 to 6 and follows the Ohio County Schools academic calendar. There are no weekend or evening hours. Patriots Helping Patriots is a club here at Wheeling Park whose goal is to help veterans in our community, spread patriotism, and help others. If you're interested in joining this club, please see Mrs. Robbins, room 244, with your $20 dues. This due includes your Patriots Helping Patriots t-shirt. All males who are 18 years old must sign up for the selective service. You may do so online at sss.gov or you may pick up a form in the school counseling office. Interested in archery at Wheeling Park? Even if you've never shot a bow before, the coaches will teach you. Questions? Reach out to Coach Thomas at 304-281-3731. Wheeling Park is no longer accepting cash at sporting events. You must buy an online ticket or use a debit card if you want to buy one in person. Remember that Wheeling Park students get in free to regular season home sporting events, but you must have your valid student ID. All students must have their student ID on them at all times during the day. You must have your ID in order to get a breakfast or lunch and to be admitted to any school activity. You may purchase a replacement ID for $3 in the technology office. It is located on the third floor near our school store. Love to read? Then Willing Park's newest club, Books and Banter, would love to have you join to see Mrs. Yost in room 333. Sign up to be a member of Drug Free Clubs of America now. This year, members will get new rewards like Chick-fil-A, parking spots, and weekly raffles. Fill out the form on Schoology now. Recently, students in the Pro Start program created a baked good item to enter into the Ohio County Country Fair at Ogilvy. Nine students placed top three in their categories. Congratulations. On the Wheeling Park sports calendar this week, this Thursday is senior night for our Lady Patriots volleyball team, and Wheeling Park will host Brook High School. 
JV plays at 5.30 and varsity follows at 6.30. Patriot football team is on the road. They will play Talawanda High School on Friday night. Kickoff is set for 7 p.m. Good luck to all our Patriots. And that's a wrap for this edition of the Patriot Connection. We're on WLTV 14, seven days a week at 6.30 a.m., 7 p.m., and 10 p.m. For all of the Patriot Connection reporters, I'm Malia Miskowitz. And I'm Alex Tennant. Have a great day.